Hi there, my name's Johnny Gray, I'm the bar manager here at Versailles Restaurant and welcome to How To and Two. Today I'm gonna to run through smoking a drink. I've done this before, but this one is smoking a Manhattan. It works incredibly well with smoke. The ingredients we're gonna use, um, we're gonna have the, uh, the, the regular Angostura bitters. We're gonna have a nice bourbon, has will smoke incredibly well, and a nice deep, um, beautiful, full-bodied um, sweet vermouth. This is the Punt de Mess. Okay, uh, when it comes to smoking a drink, you have to remember two things. You have to either uh, complement the ingredients you're using, or it needs to bring something to them. In this case, it's gonna complement everything that we're using, okay? We're gonna use cherry wood, just seems the most appropriate for Manhattan. Um, it's gonna remind you of uh, being up at a cottage. It's gonna remind you of the campfires. It's gonna uh, be a very, very satisfying drink when you drink this drink in the, uh, in the winter. Okay, so first thing we need to do, get the ice doing its job while we're making our drink. Fill up the shaking tin, fill up the glass, and we're good to go. Very, very simple drink this, very, very easy. Um, we've got a smoking gun here. Uh, we've got the main gun mechanism. We have the stand. Uh, this here is the tube uh, for directing the smoke. Once we turn it on, an air current is gonna come through um, uh, and it's gonna burn the uh, dry material we have there, okay? Any dry organic material we do, you can use dried fruits, um, you can use uh, wood. In this case, we're using wood, obviously. Okay, so first thing we need to do is make our drink. But it's going last. We're gonna use two ounces of the Maker's Mark. One ounce of the Punta Mess. Two dashes of the Angostura bitters. Okay, we're not gonna shake this one up, we're gonna stir it. We don't wanna bruise the alcohol in any way. What that means is we don't wanna get air going into it. Uh, we're gonna ruin the alcohol in that way. We're gonna just expand all the flavors too much and we don't wanna break apart the ice. That's gonna dilute everything. It's not gonna uh, add anything to the drink. It's gonna take everything away though. Okay, so the drink is now made. We turn on the gas. By gas, I mean batteries, obviously. And then you wanna heat up the material until this beautiful plume of smoke starts coming out. Then we need to put that into the drink. We're not gonna shake this one, obviously, that's a Manhattan. All the ingredients are a little bit too sensitive for that. So we're just gonna stir the smoke in. You're at a reasonable speed, so you get a vortex in there, it's gonna bring the smoke right down to the base of the drink. You don't wanna do too much. You don't want to dilute it too much and you don't want to get too much smoke in there as well. Okay, the smoke's going to complement the drink. It's not going to take over the drink in any way. So, we didn't shake it. We don't really need to fine strain it in any way. We're going to use our hot point strainer. Pour that in. Looks fantastic already. And garnish a beautiful, ideally house-made cherry. And there you have it. One beautiful smoked Manhattan.